The Moldavian government has decided to amend its laws to ban Israeli nationals from entering the country. The AUKUS nations Australia, United Kingdom and United States have announced that they will share sonar data with the deployment of a new trilateral algorithm for their Boeing P-8 aircraft, and while India also operates P-8 aircraft, India is not involved in the data sharing program. The Indian Navy is deploying the indigenous stealth frigate INS Shivalik for exercise RIMPAC, that is scheduled to be held in Hawaii from 25th June to 2nd August. After midlife upgrade, INS Mysore was spotted with a new Lensu N3D air search radar system. Under a contract signed in 2021, Garden Reach Shipbuilders is all set to deliver six fast patrol boats to Bangladesh. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has secured a 1,173 crore rupees contract with Cochin Shipyard Limited to provide six sets of LM2500 gas turbines for the Indian Navy's next-generation missile vessel project. Hindustan Aeronautics plans to acquire a 20,000-ton isothermal press and a 50,000-ton hydraulic press that will enable HAL to produce forgings for engines like the F-414, AL-31F and the RD-33. The Indian Air Force will participate in Exercise Pitch Black in Australia with four Su-30 fighter jets. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has won a 840 crore rupees contract to build an oceanographic research vessel for the Ministry of Earth Sciences. In a positive development concerning the Tejas Mark II fighter jet program, Hindustan Aeronautics has announced that it has already begun manufacturing the Tejas Mark II prototype, and the initial structural assembly is already underway. While earlier reports suggested a March 2026 rollout for the prototype, HAL has provided an updated timeline for the Tejas Mark II program, and now the aircraft might be ready for rollout by end of 2025, and the first flight remains targeted for March 2026. This revised timeline suggests HAL is making faster progress than initially anticipated, and the early completion of the prototype would allow for more pre-flight testing and data collection, and eventual mass production of this advanced fighter jet. The CEO of California-based Ocean Aero has said that the Indian Coast Guard and Navy have expressed in the Triton autonomous underwater and surface vehicle. The Triton boasts a unique ability to operate on both the surface and submerged, and it can autonomously gather information from both above and below the ocean surface, before transmitting it from anywhere in real time. The Triton is designed for extended operation of 3 months with speeds of up to 5 knots, and for submerged missions, the Triton can operate autonomously for 5 days at a time while traveling at 2 knots. The recent downing of the 6th American MQ-9 Reaper drone by the Houthi rebels, has raised serious questions about the effectiveness and vulnerability of the platform, particularly in light of India's planned procurement of 31 MQ-9 Reapers for a hefty $3 billion. The vulnerability of the Reaper in semi-contested airspace raises questions about the platform's value for money, and if India deploys these Reapers in a similar contested environment, they face a high risk of being shot down, leading to significant financial losses and potential loss of sensitive technology. India might need to consider alternative drone platforms with better survivability features, or invest in robust counter-drone technologies to mitigate threats. The recent events could also be used as leverage to renegotiate the deal price, considering the potential risks associated with the platform's vulnerability. Today's Top 3 Comments